In this video, we're going to learn how to read and display the contents of a file using Python. So here I have a file with these four lines of content. I want to read this content into a string and then display the string. The first thing we'll do is open the file. First we'll say file is equal to, and then we'll call the open function to open the file. The first argument will be a string with the name of the file, in this case, file.txt. Now open can open the file in different modes for reading or for writing, for example. And by default, it will open the file for reading so we can read the content from the file. We could also supply an explicit second argument with the mode. So in this case here, it would be a string with the character R for read mode. So the open function is going to return a file object and the file object has a method read that allows us to read all the contents of a file. We can say contents is equal to file.read and the read method is going to return a string with all the file contents. We could print out those contents by saying print and then contents. And then finally, we could close the file by saying file.close. Once we're done working with the file, we should close it. So we'll save this and we'll try our program. We'll run python d.py and we get our file contents there. Now there is this extra new line here. That's just because of the way the cat command line program reads the file versus the way the print function in Python prints out a string. It's the same file content. One thing we could add is exception handling to deal with any errors that occur while reading the file content. So we can make a try block. We'll say try, and then we'll tab over this code here. And these Python statements will be executed. But if an exception occurs due to some error, we can catch that exception and do something. So we'll say accept colon. And this here is an accept block where we can have error handling code to deal with any exception that occurs when reading the file contents. In this case, we'll just print out an error message to the user. We'll say print error reading file. So we can save this. And now if we change the file name to some file that doesn't exist, like bad file name, and we save this. If we try to run our program now, we get error reading file. So now we've made our program a bit more robust by adding in this error handling code. So this is how we can read and display all the contents of a file using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.